Yeah, surprising, isn't it? Second video in a week. Never happened before. First time happening ever on this channel. My second video this week. Let's get into it. But before I get into the video, I'd just like to say that there is no right or wrong way of editing. Everyone has their own taste, their own style. I've been doing it for around four or five years now, and obviously as I've done editing, I found my own style of editing. So this is my way. You'll all find your own way. You'll all, you'll all, all. You will find your own style. Obviously, the more you edit, the more you experiment. So this is just my way of editing and you don't have to copy me and also I'm giving away a free look at the end of this video you can download and just apply it to your pictures and post on Instagram okay so you've gone out you've done some street photography you've come back home you're excited to edit the pictures but there is a little problem you do not know how to edit or get around the way of editing so I'm going to teach you how to edit your street photography today anyways guys enough talking let's hop straight into Photoshop okay so I'm using these four pictures that I took a few days ago when I went out for a walk, some street photography. Okay, so when you import these photos, they are raw photos. So essentially raw is a type of format where you get more detail in the photo and you can just, you know, the ingredients are essentially cooked in. You can adjust everything after. So almost think of it as a baked cake where it's baked and you can't do anything after, but these are like the raw ingredients where you can adjust everything. So let's expand the screen first. Okay, so this is the first picture. As you can see, it is very overexposed. So this is what I tend to do. First, I put the contrast up, put the highlights low, the whites low. We also crush the blacks. And then the exposure can go down a little as well, just stay. Okay, now with the texture, I'm just gonna put it just a little up. I don't really play around the texture too much, you know, just can ruin the image, but just a little texture can add to it. And dehaze. I want to dehaze just a little bit, you know, just to get that clarity back. And also clarity is there, so we can make the clarity back like that as well. Alright, so before I actually do the colouring of it, the colour grading side, I also get this filter. Try this up. What is the name of this actual filter? It is called a graduated filter, so it gradually I'll show you what I mean. So Let's say you want to, you know, put the tension down here. You can crush this exposure, put it a little low, just to get the detail back. You can also put the whites down a little. Not too much, just there. Also put the highlights low. Just bring it a bit down. Okay. Now for this shot, I would want the center, just the spot to be the focus. So we're also going to use a radial filter. Just apply over here, I'll show you a trick. So you just apply it anywhere where you want to use it. Put the exposure a little down here. And then you go over here and you can turn to a brush. And you can obviously increase, decrease the size, the feathering, also the flow. So I'll just tend to just increase the size. You just go over it just to darken the spot. So that can become the attention. Okay, and then just to add a bit more to it, I want to darken this a bit because it is a little overexposed as well. So let me just see where it's perfect. Just there. I think that's perfect. Go onto the brush and then just go over it slightly okay now that we have sorted the exposure out we can get onto the color grading this is the most fun part by the way so we can go onto the blues which is the skies we drag the hue as you can see it gives that nice teal look but you don't want to give it too much but however I like this kind of hue you put that there then you decrease the saturation a little and you also can mess around the luminance. So maybe put it a bit down. Okay, now let's go on to the greens. The greens are over here. So put the hue down again. You know, it just gives that burnt look, which I kind of like. And for this, you can put the saturation a little up just to pop it. And then with the luminance, you can just luminance, luminance. I don't know how to pronounce that word, but anyway, there it is. So, 
that shot is pretty much done I kind of like the shot I like the framing of it mainly fun fact I actually shot through like a fence kind of thing to get the shot so this shot is pretty much done you can't improve on this very much but I'm doing kind of a quick tutorial where I don't want to drag it out too long so usually I'd spend around half an hour on one picture not kind of bring anything like that but usually I would spend around half an hour just to perfect it a bit more but that is usually my go-to way of color grading the shot now this is another favorite shot I like though I do not like these cars so I'm going to teach you how to crush the blacks to get rid of these cars so what we do is also by the way if you have like a similar shot to that and exposure is similar you can save that as a lot within photoshop within here in this section so you can apply it so what we do is go here in the shot and we get a crack on the shot okay so putting the exposure a bit up i mean the contrast not the exposure we decrease the highlights to get the detail back oh see that lovely detail see if it wasn't for a raw shot there that they were exposed if it wasn't for a raw shot i would be able to get that back don't crush it too much just here is perfect the shadows um we can crush the shadows a bit as you can see the cards and some other shit i don't know what that is crush the shadows a bit and the whites i can put i think put the whites a bit just a bit up yeah just there the blacks crush the blacks as you can see the cards are still here so we're going to be using the radial filter again to crush this so put the exposure all the way down we turn into a brush make the size small go over it and this is what i like there you go a silhouette that is how you make a silhouette in photoshop with a sunset shot obviously so you can just go down here and we'll do the same thing for the color okay go to the blues the hue a bit up oh that's the wrong blue okay there we go saturation a little just like that soft you know that subtle look of the blues so the exposure a bit up on that now let's go on for the sunset part change the hue i like that burnt look so i'm gonna go for that you can also you can increase this is up to you but i like to decrease that the saturation the luminance probably just a little up and yeah again that shot is pretty much done but however i would spend more time with it but I'm rushing this tutorial to show you guys, okay. Now let's go on to this shot. See with this shot, there's so much distractions. This line here, this line there, line there, this lamppost, this house. So I'm gonna teach you how to remove that. But first, let's do the editing side of it. Again, contrast. Highlights, crushed. Shadows, up. Whites, down. Blacks, I'm gonna crush the blacks a bit. And I like to add just a little texture to it and a bit of clarity, dehaze, uh, just a little, just around there. Okay, onto the colouring, colour grading. This is my favourite part of colour grading this. So we put that hue up, drag the saturation down, just that soft blue look. Luminance we can put up and down. I like I want this down. Okay, I like how it's gradually halfway. Half of it is like exposed like that, and the other half is like that. More cloudy here and less cloudy here, so that's what I like about this shot. And then we can also change the pinks, I think. Make it more red. There we go. So that again, that is pretty much done. It's a quick colour grade. And this was my favourite shot of the day to be honest. I really like this shot. So we can turn this into like most the amazing shot that you would expect with this. So put the contrast a bit up, highlights, don't want them too low, somewhere around here. Shadows, no, you know what, we're gonna crush the shadows. As you can see, that's a green kind of tree thing. So we crush the shadows to give that silhouette look again. And then for the whites, you can put the whites a bit up, blacks, Crush. If you want like that really silhouette look where there's no detail at all, you can crush the blacks again. Or if you want to just like have a little bit of detail there, then you can just put the blacks a bit up. But if you totally want to crush the blacks, you can use the radial filter like how we used it in the other silhouette shot. So let's go down and yeah again, blues, drag it down, saturation, low, that soft look, love that look. And then 
you can play around with luminance it's totally up to you by the way this is your own style and how to edit there's different different ways you can make it look like a sunrise shot or a sunset shot you can add things in there to make it look like a completely different shot honestly photoshop is the best tool to use in order for you to like experiment so yeah, there's not much you can do with this shot um with this part this shot so this shot is pretty much done again so yeah that's something we move on to the next shot this shot is of my brother standing guard portrait shot so i just thought i always look whenever i used to go to school or college i used to walk past this road and I'm like you know what that road is so sick i've always, always wanted to shoot there so on that day i went i was like you know what i just remember this road let's go shoot there always wanted to shoot this shot so i liked high trees and the road is more wide than usual roads in, the, um, in my area so i went there and got the shot however you can see the background is completely overexposed so i had to expose for him rather than expose for the background when i was taking the shot so that was the best thing to do but usually you want to expose for the highlights you want to increase the shutter and make the rest dark it's easier to get the uh, it's easier to pull out shadows than it is to recover highlights Pull it. it's easy to pull out an exposed shot than an overexposed shot basically so yeah again we go with a similar thing contrast bit up highlights down shadows shadows have to go up on this shot yeah just around here okay whites down again as you can see we got most of the detail back this is the best thing about shooting raw whenever you have whatever camera you use shoot raw even on the phone you can download apps to shoot raw i think you can so I'm going to crush the blacks a bit now let's use the graduated filter again drag that down okay pull it up now the exposure i'm going to turn it down as you can see okay it has a huge impact okay the thing is about a graduated filter the name is in itself graduated so it gradually adds the exposure so let's say i pull it all the way down that's when it will affect the um, under part of the image so i can pull it around here and it'll only affect this part of the image and that is pretty much done with the exposure onto the color grading my favorite part go onto the blues here here we go no this is the wrong blue again we need to, to go on the darker blue so other different shades of blue as you can see it's starting to affect the jacket so then we put saturation low okay luminance here and then what we do is we can the skin tones let's go to this the skin tone is a bit towards the red side let's put it a bit here okay add a bit of luminance to it not too much okay so that is the color grading side of it so now we are going to try to adjust more of these then photoshop and see what we can do to enhance it so what you're going to do is you want to click control and then left click to select the images then you go on open and it will open the photoshop open the picture of the photoshop so let's wait for it to load okay now that is open there isn't much we can do with the shot there's a lot we can do with the shot but within terms of street photography we don't really want to add any more things to it this shot needs some make over so let's go on with that okay so as you can see there are so many distractions in this shot maybe you might like it like that but personally i don't like that so i don't know if i'm in focus but if i'm not sorry because i'm using a manual lens it's kind of a headache but let's get on with this so what you want to do is you want to go on to where's it gone spot healing brush this brush i love this brush literally lifesaver so i'm gonna pull it up a bit increase the size okay so this is the best way to remove that wire there that line whatever it's called okay you want to go over it okay make it just a bit big so it covers the full area okay as you can see, I want to make it big so I don't have to keep going back. Okay, go over it like this. As you can see, look, it's doing the magic. Let's scroll a bit more down. 
right look at that straight away just removed it and we've got another distraction here which is this guy there you go seamless and quick all right we've got another one here just drop that just a little bit Okay, that is done that side of it so this side as you can see it is pretty quick easy and fast which is what I love and finally not finally this lamp post as well still got a few more things to remove Also, this house is kind of annoying, so let's remove this out of the shot. But sometimes, what can happen if you do towards the edge, you can kind of not do it properly, but let's try it. Yeah, as you can see. So, what you want to do is go over it one by one, like that. And if that doesn't work, then you go into the clone stamp tool, which is similar to that, but it's manual. So, you know, you want the brush size to be big. A little more bit than that. Yep, that's the size. You click on Alt. Alt, Alt, I really know how to pronounce my words today. You go on. Yeah. Oh, and you go towards this side. Okay. Oh, we do not want the sign there. So we just click out here. Yeah. And there you go. That is pretty much done. Now look at that. Huge difference. I love this shot. This is my favourite shot. Actually I said the other one my favourite shot. But this has to be my second favourite shot. Because obviously. Let's look at the composition. I love the framing of it. And when I remove the distractions. The distractions are gone. So this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it's something fun. And this is like, I don't really do tutorials, so this is something that I don't usually do. I'm kind of mastering at the moment. This is my second tutorial, I think, within like Photoshop. So please do give this a thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought about this. Give me some feedback. What would you like to see next? Comment down below. Honestly, guys, whatever you want to see, I'll create that content for you because I want to help a lot of people within photography. Even though I've only been doing it for like five, six years, I just want to help as much people as possible. And I know most of us are in lockdown and haven't been going out, you know, getting shots of street photography. So I've linked them down below. You can download them and play around with them. And also send them over to me on Instagram or post them on Instagram and tag me and make a story when you're while you're editing them and I'll repost it so you can get a shout out. Anyways, guys, so if you want to, they are in the description below for you to play around with. If you're on Instagram, please feel free to follow me and give me a DM. I'd love to talk to you guys and just network and help you guys out. So please do give me a follow my instagram is somewhere there or there i don't know how i'm gonna do it but please do and just thank you for watching and i appreciate the support make sure to subscribe like comment turn that bell notification to keep updated on the videos two times a week i'll be uploading thank you guys and i really appreciate you watching i'll see you next time